Today we're going over the Hammerhead 360 by XC Gear. It's a mountain bike stem with a built-in handlebar dampening system and it is rad. So in this video I'm going to install the system and put it to the test. And I'm not going to insult your intelligence here, just take the old stem off and put the new one on. It's super simple. The stem comes with two bushings. The orange is going to be a lot harder, the blue is a lot softer depending on your riding style and your weight. So here you gotta... You must choose. But choose wisely. So let's hope you chose the cup of the carpenter, unlike me. And let's move on to testing. Alright, let's test this hammerhead. 360 out. This is the first time I'm on a good dry track since I got the Emoto Bros tune on my 72 volt. It's so much better. The power is so much more usable. <laughs> and the dirt is a lot looser. That was a good way to start the day. Just a little reminder. These definitely take out a lot of the micro vibrations. That is for sure. And even I think some of the bigger ones. I'm definitely way heavier on the throttle than I was on the previous tune. Oh yeah, going fast over these bumps. I'm still on the stock forks and they're so bad. So every little bit helps. And this helps a lot. But even with good forks, you're still gonna notice a big difference for these. I think especially when you're riding on gravel where it's just constant little bumpy bumps. We'll do a video on that in the future. Oh yeah, sections like that. My bars would be vibrating before. Pushes them up so nice. I had no idea we gained that much elevation. Nice! We're up at Canfield, trying to get a lake view. This is the first real ride. I'm getting on the Hammerhead 360 system and I already love it. I'm on the factory fork. It's not the best in the world. You're getting good at those wheelies. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> behind the Ludacris they're on and the Beta 300. We're getting it. The vi micro vibrations are so damped by the hammerhead. I'm loving it so far. Ooh, it's loose but at least it's dry. Oh, 
Oh, this is not easy. Oh, oh man, taking out my line by a little tree tap. It's so much easier without ice. <laughs> yeah. I think this is stripped. Oh, I got a nice hand smasher into a tree. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did the I did the order of upgrades exact opposite the way I should have. <laughs> We're up here on the top of the world. Good place to be. I've never been up here when it was dry. It's awesome, isn't it? It's so awesome. You think the taking the ludicrous up here is more effort or that thing? Definitely the ludicrous. Yeah. You got a clutch here and you got 300 cc's of two strokes. <laughs> I'm in third gear going up that. Really? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, you'll have to try it. It's they're, they're just nuts. Yeah, they're, that way. I feel like it's gonna put me on my ass. <laughs> I've never ridden anything like that. <laughs> That's the line. This is awesome. <laughs> back in the studio after four or five batteries with this thing and what I can say is taking out those micro vibrations is just going to help you ride longer and more comfortably. That's the big thing that I noticed from this. I can't wait to test it out with proper suspension. I've got some Fox 40s used so finally going to upgrade those forks and together I think this is going to be a heck of a combo so stay tuned for that video.